Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a Hayden Rowe June uh, Ready Bits haul. So this is my first time ever getting the Ready Bits. I think it's actually like pretty exciting. I like a lot of them, which is great because I usually don't do mystery for that reason. So let's get into it and let's chat about some ready bits. So this is the card that she she sent. It's just like, you know, welcome to the ready bits. You know, you can she even has a, a, what is that? A playlist on Spotify. So you can listen to, you know, your jams while you're melting your summer jams ready bits. That's the name of the next restock is the summer jams restock. So that's why it is like that. And then of course her card, Hayden Rowe. And then the sticker says, choose happiness which is always what you should do. Okay, so let's see. I'll start off with the, I'm gonna start off with the ones that are not my favorite, I think, if I can pick them out of the pile. So this one is Stiletto, and this is Citrus, Ozonic Notes, Moss, Tonka, Light Florals, and Barbershop 1920s. Now I would have probably enjoyed it up until the Barbershop 1920s. I do not do the shaving cream type of scent. I just don't like it. They're not for me, but that's all right why there's different scents for everybody and I love the size of these ready bits they are perfect to melt and get I'd get a true feeling of the scent so this is really 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 beautiful except for the nine the barbershop 1920s I mean like it's really pretty but if you like shaving cream scents you're gonna like it I will say that it's not super super overpowering Lots of the times when I melt the, the shaving cream blends, that's really all you get. And it's kind of just choke you out like you're in a barber shop. But this is beautiful. It's, it is citrus. I mean, it is ozonic where it's like very light and airy. But it also, from that tonka and the, the moss, it's sort of manly. And then you get the Barbershop 1920 shaving cream scent. It's really a really nice scent. I'm not going to lie to you. It is. I just don't think I would love it because of that. But I'm telling you, if you like shaving cream scents and you're into that, try this out because it's really, really pretty. It does not overpower it. You do get the other notes and it's, it's gorgeous. I <laughs> kind of wish you would make that blend without the shaving cream because I actually really, really like that. It's, it's nice. Then we have Banana Beach, which is banana cream pie, banana pudding, and banana boat sunscreen. Not a banana person in wax. It always is very laffy taffy and candy-like. And that's what this is. It's a laffy taffy banana. I don't get any sunscreen, which is fabulous because I don't do sunscreen scents either. It's just that laffy taffy banana. Very sweet, candy banana. And which, that sucks because, like, banana cream pie and banana pudding, they are incredible to eat. Like, incredible. And they don't smell like a Laffy Taffy. So I think banana is just not, banana is just not something you can recreate in wax. You just can't. Like, the smell of a nice, ripe banana that you're mashing for banana bread, delicious. I don't think you're ever going to get something to smell like that. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Oh, this one I won't. This is Cruel Summer, and it's creamy marshmallow, caramelized sugar, and hints of chocolate. All of these last notes are just killing me. The chocolate. The chocolate in this says, no ma'am. If I can get it out. Yeah. This has the exact same chocolate note that Cupcakes at Tiffany's has. So if you like cupcakes at Tiffany's, you'll like this. The creamy marshmallow and the caramelized sugar smell so, so, so good. But then you get that chocolate. And that chocolate smells exactly like the chocolate and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Yep. Almost exactly. Again, if you left that out, it would be an incredibly good sweet scent. But it has chocolate in it. And there's no getting around that one. I don't do the, the cupcakes at Tiffany's for that reason. But again, if you like it, try that because this is good. The, the marshmallow is not plasticky and the caramelized sugar is not like caramely. So that that's, those are good. Then we have, I think that's it for like really what I don't love. I'm trying to pick it out. 
Well, this one's good, but it's, um, this is Walking on Sunshine, which is Fruit Loops and White Cake. So, I, I don't mind Fruit Loops scent, but, like, this one little sample is perfect for me. I don't really need much more of it, just because I don't tend to melt those type of scents all that often. I will occasionally do it, so I don't need, like, a huge, um, piece, like, a loaf of something in Fruit Loops. Yeah, this is just is bright, fruity Fruit Loops. I don't get any cake, like, at all. It's just Fruit Loops, so I don't think this one's necessary if you have a lot of Fruit Loops in your collection already because it's not different. It smells exactly the same. I don't get any cake, no creaminess, so it's good. It's a Fruit Loops scent. It's good, nice and strong, but if you have a lot of that, I don't think you need it, and if you don't like Fruit Loops, then obviously that's not for you. All right, let's just do all the other ones then. We're not going to pick them out. So this is Luna, which is nectar-filled fruits, exotic florals, vanilla, and honey. This one sounded super interesting because I've never really smelled a honey in wax. And it has, you know, florals and stuff like that. So I was interested to see how this one smelled. And I actually think that this is beautiful. I really, really do. This is gorgeous. It's very, very feminine and pretty and soft. It's not too florally. It doesn't smell like a perfume at all. It's slightly fruity. You get the vanilla. Maybe it's the honey that really kind of puts it over the edge, but it honestly smells like a very pretty lady. I would say like it smells like something you would like a lotion or a body wash or something, but it doesn't smell like body care-esque. It's just very, fe excuse me, very feminine and soft. Like I said, it's slightly fruity. It's not florally like perfumes and maybe it's because they're exotic florals. I don't know. They get a little, a little different, but this is, this is really, really pretty. Yeah, I like this. I might actually order this. I am going to have to order it to see. I mean, or, oh my gosh, <laughs> melt it to see. Oh, but it's pretty. It is pretty. That one's good. That is good. Then we have Jessie's Girl, which is vanilla orchid, exotic fruits, coconut milk, and musk. This one's a pretty pink. And this one is nice too. It is, oh, it's like fruits, not florals. Did I say florals? I don't know. It's slightly fruity. It's slightly like creamy from the coconut milk. And you do get musk. And you, I think you do get the vanilla orchid. I don't know if I like this one as much. I think this one is still good. This one is more fruit fruity. And it smells like a little bit more tropical, if that makes sense. It's not a, it's not a sunscreeny coconut or anything like that, but it smells more like beachy vibes. Still very soft, very pretty, just a little bit more fruity and a little bit more tropical. It's still, again, good. I don't, that's good. It is good. I don't know which one I, I'm going to have to melt them and then see. On cold, I think I like Luna a little bit more, maybe. I'm not sure. That one's tough. That one is tough. So then we have Layla, which is bergamot, sandalwood, sugarcane, pink grapefruit, and light florals. Now, I am a pink grapefruit lover. I love, 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 love grapefruit. If it's the good kind of grapefruit. And this one is floral. <laughs> it is floral. Even with all that light florals, but the more I smell it, the deeper I get. So my initial thought is floral. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 ma'am. But the more I smell it, the more I do get that grapefruit. It is not super strong at all. And it is not on the forefront, at least not on cold. It, it, it doesn't smell like citrus. It doesn't smell zesty. It doesn't smell like a straight up grapefruit. It's, it's very subdued. So if you're not into the grapefruit scent, you still might like this one. This one's hard to describe. It's... It's interesting. It's not that strong. You gotta like really take a nice deep breath to, to really smell it. 
And what I'm getting is 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 just a, a slightly, I mean, a floral, slightly fruity scent. And then because of that bergamot, it also has that bright citrusy type of scent. So that's good. But don't I don't smell, smell any sandalwood and like no sugar cane. So it's a it's a fruity, I mean, a citrusy floral scent. But floral, I think, is the first note. So yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That one, again, definitely gonna have to bounce it to see and get that into the warmer. Then we have Native New Yorker, which is tart lime, sweet lemonade, and effervescence. And I think I'm gonna like this one. Well, I already know that I, I like this one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but it just smells like fizzy pop. I'm not gonna lie. It smells like straight fizzy. I don't think that this is very different. I can't say, ooh, that's lemonade and lime in there. It just smells like a lemon lime fizzy. I have her regular fizzy pops that I'm gonna have to compare to that or compare to this and see if it's all that different. But on cold, it's just fizzy, but it's still good. Yeah, still good. Yeah, feel like fizzy. I think it'll be up your alley. But again, I'm not sure if it's different enough from other fizzy scents or her regular fizzy pop to um, order it. I'm going to have to compare. Off the top of my brain, I think it is slightly different. But I don't know for a fact. Then we have Born in the USA, which is perfectly broken in denim and rocket pop popsicle so the rocket pop popsicle is like that typical red white and blue popsicle with the blue raspberry and cherry and I don't know what the white is I don't think I don't think it's coconut I don't know what the white is but anyway you know what they are and this I thought I was gonna hate I'm not even gonna lie I thought this was gonna be cherry and I'm thinking to myself how do you do cherry and laundry it just doesn't no mm -mm 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 -mm. but I actually really like it <laughs> I really really do this is a laundry that I know for a fact that I've smelled before, but I can't put my finger on it. It's, I think it's like, it, is it snuggle? I don't know if it's snuggle. I don't know. It, it's, um, it's, I think it's a fabric softener type of laundry for sure. It might be snuggle. I don't know, but I usually don't like people's snuggles. So that's why I'm thrown off. Anyway, I don't get any rocket pop popsicle. Not even a hint. Nope. It's, the laundry is so strong that that's all I smell, which I'm not complaining about because I wasn't sure about the cherry. And I even have her Rocket Pop and it's not bad, but it does have cherry. So yeah, this is just straight laundry, not gonna lie. Maybe, you know, it has to melt a little bit, but it's, um, it is, cher it is cherry, no, it's laundry. I like it though, it's a very, very nice laundry. I wouldn't necessarily say denim. I think it just smells like a fabric softener. Still good though. And then finally, the last one is Barbie Girl, which is strawberry, raspberry, raspberry guava, and fizzy pop. And it's this really, really nice pink. And I thought fizzy pop is so hard to get a different type of scent out of, which it is because it's just so strong, but this is slightly different. This is a little bit more um, fruity fizzy. Again, smelling it, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, that's strawberry, raspberry, and guava, but it is a slightly fruitier fizzy. Personally, I like the more uh, like lemon lime type of fizzy. I still enjoy this, but I don't think I would get more of it. All based off of personal preference though. It's not because it's a bad scent. It is good. Definitely fizzy forefront with just some slightly fruitiness in it. So yeah, that's good. It's a good one. If you like all types of fizzy and you kind of want everything with fizzy pop in it, try it because it is different. It doesn't smell the same as native New Yorker. You get the fizzy, but you do get fruity. So that's everything for the ready bits. I am surprised at how much I actually enjoy from this. I'm not even going to lie. I thought I would probably hate most of it because I'm slightly picky when it comes to wax, but it wound up being great. I really only don't like maybe two. Well, definitely two. Definitely Stiletto and Banana Beach I don't like, and then maybe one other one while it's melting. But other than that, it was a success. So 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if it was helpful for you. If you guys want to order from the Summer Jams restock, I should have the date, but I don't because I'm very bad at this YouTube thing. Um, I'll put it in the description when the restock is. It's probably going to be June. What is that? I don't know. June 4th, maybe? I don't know. I'll put it in the description box below, okay? So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.